What's going on, guys? It's Investing Hustler here, and today we have another episode of Too Much News. And boy, do I have a lot of news for you guys today. I have news on Tesla, on Google releasing a new console, on IGC going up 400% on one day, even companies like IQEE, Broku going up over 20%. Uh, Supreme Cannabis, new target price. We got lots of news today and we're going to even finish it up with some Aurora news if we still have time. But first, before we get started, don't forget to leave me a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And also, I am going to plug in my merch because it finally is released. Right now, I got the Investing Hustlers sweaters. In the back, it says Hustler. In the front, it's the Hustler logo. In Canadian, they are selling for thirty-eight, thirty-six. This was as low as I could get it. I do have some cheaper sweaters as uh, over here, thirty-five. T-shirts are twenty-seven. We even got the uh, Investor Hustler pillow. We got the mug. It says uh, Investing Hustler on one side, fifteen bucks, and Hustler on the back. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Also, you do have options to pick out other colors like the red. The green, um, the investing hustler with no diamond. I'm going to be coming up with more and more designs as we go along. For now, this is the best I can do. We have different colors. We even have leggings for women. So yeah, just check it out. Check the link in the description below. And also for a limited time, I will be giving 15% off and the code is hustler. It's all in the description. You guys could check that out in the description. So now let's move on. Actually, first I want to talk about my trades that I've done today. I swung trade Kiron twice today. So first I'm going to bring out the Kiron charts. We could talk about Kiron real quick and how I did a couple swing trades. This is the second time I'm swing trading Kiron. Kiron has been on fire. Not so much of a good day today, only up 3%, but that's all I needed to do swing trades with Kiron. We're going to look at their charts and today Kiron has been super volatile. We're going to look at their one minute charts. And as you can see here, even for only going up 3.05%, this company has been super volatile. So I've been enjoying Kiron. I'm going to show you guys my trades for the day. So right here, I started off the day. I bought 1500 shares of Kiron at $4. I don't remember exactly when, but let's just say I bought it around here. And then later on, I sold all those shares. As you can see the sell order right here, I sold those 1500 shares for $4.11. So if you look at the charts, I bought for $4 around here and I sold for $4.11 around here. So I collected a little bit. I think it was close to 3%. And then the buying opportunity came around again where I ended up purchasing another 1,000 shares this time for $3.99. Um, I could look at the charts. It was probably, I don't even know when I purchased it at this point. I think it was right here. I did get an opportunity to get it at $3.99. And then later on, I sold some Kiron. Once again, this was actually near the end of the day. I sold it for $4.11. I sold all my shares. I'm completely out of Kiron right now. I made a couple hundred dollars today. I think it was, um, I'm not sure exactly how much. I'll find out soon. But yes, I did a couple swing trades with Kiron. And near the end of the day, Kiron did seem to decline. I've been noticing a pattern with Kiron. Kiron is constantly, um, starts off the day very hot. And then throughout the day, they decline. And then at the end of the day, they either have a nice run, but if they have that nice run too early, they decline. So right here, they had a nice run at the end of the day and then they decline. And usually when they decline at the end of the day, it means the next day they're gonna push forward. So Monday, Kiran might be making a nice run in the morning and then I'm gonna wait for the afternoon. If this pattern continues, it seems to decline throughout the day and then have a nice run towards the end of the day. So that's just a pattern that I've noticed. At any time, this pattern can break. But that's just what I've been noticing with Kiron. So there you go. Those are all my trades with Kiron. I did cancel a couple of trades. I tried to get a four dollar sixteen um, limit order with Kiron. Didn't work. Try to purchase Kiron at three ninety eight. Didn't work. Four fifteen. I should have been patient because I would have got that at the end of the day. But I didn't do it. I ended up getting my four eleven. Uh, money's money. So now let's move on to the news. Tesla. <clears throat> I'm just gonna skim past all these articles because there's lots of news that I want to touch up on. One of them is Tesla begins Model Three delivery in China ahead of schedule. So I'm just going to read the, the key points. Tesla announced Friday during an event in Beijing, Beijing that it's beginning delivery of the Model 3 in China at least a week earlier than expected. Elon Musk's electric car company said in January it planned to start deliveries of the vehicle in China in March. State-funded Chinese news site The Paper also reported Friday that a ship carrying more than 1,600 Model 3 vehicles had arrived in Shanghai. So that looks like some pretty good news for Tesla. And now this is actually some very interesting news on Google and it's Google is unveiling a console next month. 
So Google um, will unveil its project stream gaming service and accompanying hardware, the game developers conference next month, according to the nine to five Google sources. The hardware is reportedly reportedly the long rumored console that's part of the broader project Yeti gaming efforts. Google's GDC keynote is scheduled on March 19th. <clears throat> that looks pretty interesting. Um, Sony has their own console. Microsoft has their own console with Xbox. So why not Google? Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how this console turns out. I'm actually pretty excited for it just to see the previews for it. This might push Google stock up. Who knows what's going to happen, but this looks like some very good news. I'm super excited. What do you guys think about the Google console? Um, are you guys going to be buying it? Any gamers out there looking for that, for that new Google console? It's kind of weird saying it, Google having a console, because we're all so used to that Sony PlayStation, that Microsoft, Xbox. Never have I ever heard of Google console. I wonder what they're going to call it. But yeah, I look forward to that. So another one is IQE went up 23%. And um, pretty much they went up 23% because they announced pretty good earnings. Let, let's see. IQ soared as much as 22.8% higher on Friday, reaching that peak just after 1 p.m. The China-based online entertainment specialist reported fourth quarter results after the closing bell on Thursday, edging out Wall Street's consensus estimates with a side order of rosy first quarter guidance. So this is good news for IQE. They had a hot day today. Another company that I talked about in the recent live stream, the post-market live stream was Roku. Roku went up over 23%. Shares of home entertainment specialist Roku surged as much as 23% on Friday thanks to strong fourth quarter reports. The stock pulled back to a slightly milder 22% gain as of 2 p.m. But I think Roku pushed forward at the end of the day. Let's see how Roku's doing right now. So Roku ended the day. 25%. So Roku is looking good right now. Another one is IGC simply on fire. Let's take a look at them right now. I think there's currently, they're still pushing forward in the post market. IGC is currently up 402% on the day and 12.5% uh, in the post market. So nothing is stopping IGC right now. Uh, let's read this article. Why is IGC on fire? So IGC stock more than triples on heavy volume after winning appeal to relist on the New York Stock Exchange. So that's some very interesting news on IGC. I've made a couple videos on IGC, most of them on being IGC is a scam, IGC this, IGC that. I've had a bunch of videos on IGC. So right now it's kind of interesting to see what's going to happen with IGC. They're up 400, over 400% today. Let's just read a little bit of this article, see if there's any interesting points. Okay, so shares of India Globalization Capital, also known as IGC, more than tripled up 234% in very active afternoon trading. Afternoon trade Friday to trade above the $1 mark for the first time in three months. After the company said its stock will relist on the New York Stock Exchange next week after it won its appeal, trading volume swelled up to 8.6 million shares compared with the full day average of about 253,000 shares. The cannabis company's stock has been trading over the counter since the exchange decision on October 29th to delist the stock. Prior to its October delisting, MarketWatch has written a story that outlined series of concerns with the company's claims and businesses. IGC stock has now gained over 85% over the past three months, while the ETFMG Alternative Harvest ETF has rallied 23%. So I'm going to try to leave a, a link right here on the top corner. Um, it's going to be titled, Is IGC a Scam? And you guys can find out all the information on IGC. Why was it delisted from the New York Stock Exchange if you've never seen that? So now on to the next, um, next article, which is Supreme Cannabis Analyst Target Price. So we have a new target price for Supreme Cannabis and it's looking good. I'm just going to go straight to the analyst recommendation. So on February 12th, Cormark Securities raised Supreme Cannabis target price to a buy, which was in line with five analysts' consensus recommendation of a buy. The overall recommendation month over month remained largely unchanged among the five analysts. Two recommended a strong buy, while three recommended a buy mm -hmm. on the stock. None of the analysts recommended a hold or sell on the stock in February, similar to the trend in the past year, which you can see in the above chart. So in February, the consensus target price for Supreme Cannabis was slightly lowered month over month at $3.31 Canadian dollars compared to $3.36 Canadian dollars a month ago. The target price will still be achieved over the next 12 month period on February 21st. The stock closed at $1.90 Canadian, which implies an upside of 70%. I currently own Supreme Cannabis, so I hope they are right. So now to the final article, can Aurora Cannabis stock get as high as its peers? 
So Aurora Cannabis has pulled back in recent days. ACB stock sold off on a mildly disappointing earnings report and the reshuffling of its board of directors. Furthermore, it faces concerns as many of its peers have moved into the U.S. hemp market ahead of them. However, given production increases and the likelihood of entering the U.S. market soon, I expect Aurora stock to move higher in the near term. So concerns remain for ACB stock. Admittedly, investors who have become paranoid from too much recreational weed use can find reason to panic. The Q2 earnings report became a slight disappointment due to excise taxes and lowered net pricing. Moreover, Tilray's decision to purchase Manitoba's harvest makes it the largest Canadian player in the U.S. hemp industry. This has caused some concern as Aurora has not yet moved into the U.S. hemp market. So the bottom line on ACB stock. Nonetheless, Aurora should move higher soon due to production increases and a likely move into the new U.S. hemp market. Yes, earnings slightly disappointed investors and the lack of an announcement on U.S. hemp may also concern some investors. Even if a CGC or a Tilray become a better buy, I see ACB stock moving higher. Yes, it is expensive, but so are most of its peers. Legal cannabis remains in short supply and Aurora continues to increase production. Also, assuming it wants to remain among the four largest cannabis stocks, one can safely assume the that plans are underway to enter the U.S. hemp market. So that's it for ACB. Let me know what you guys think about all this news. Also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Once again, don't forget to check out the merch. I have the hoodies up. I have also let me know what you guys think. I, I do have other colors, different type of merch. Let me know what color you prefer, what color logo. Um, Cause right now this is all I have. I have the red, I have the green, the black. Gonna try to get them at a cheaper price right now. This is the best price I could get with this website. I am working on something with one of my subscribers. So hopefully I'll be getting a better price, but right now we do have the 10% off. So hope you guys enjoy it. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that notification bell and smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.